This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. You know, there's not many times I get blown away by something. And, you know, this has been a great year for games. I mean, uh, I, I'm, you know, if you're going to see some videos coming from, coming in the future that I'm really talking about some great things. But this is one of those sleepers that really caught me off guard. And I want to thank uh, Marco over at Raybox Games for getting this over to me. It is Escape from Stalingrad Z. Now, you know, you're thinking, oh, another Nazi zombie game. This... This is something different. This is something that I'm very excited about, and I think you should be too. We're gonna to go down to the table. They have a Kickstarter going on right now, which I'll put the link on the bottom of the video. Uh, it is going on right now uh, that you are going to want to definitely check this out. Uh, they've got another version of this uh, going up, um, and uh, I'm telling you, after messing with this, you definitely want to check this next thing out. I'm not going to explain all the rules. I'm going to give you a brief overview and understand why I'm so excited about this. Let's go down to the table and check it out. All right, listen to me. This is cool, all right? Now, you're going to play as a character, and there's you can assemble a team and so forth and so on. You're going to have your wounds and your health as normal, but as you can see, you're going to be able to carry a certain amount of gear, okay? The cool thing about this is that say you find a gun and you want it, you want to ready this gun. Well, there's that gun. You could plug it right in there. If you just want to go with your club and you want to have a gun in your offhand, well, hey, no problem, okay? But you can't fire this gun. You can only use your readied weapon, all right? We'll explain all these symbols in a minute, so just bear with me, okay? Um, but you can have this or you can have a machine gun, which will take up both hands, okay? A lot of really neat things. You can have some supplies so you can recharge. You're going to be getting, as you get experience, you are going to be leveling up. Now, they got uh, really cool little uh, little chits in here that'll, that'll keep track of everything. And they have a variant of fantastic characters. And I do mean characters. Now, you can play as, as you know, this little token here. They have standees uh, so for each, each hero. Um, and you can do that, or you can play one of these really <laughs> unique <laughs> and glorious uh, 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 characters, okay? Now, that's not all that goes out there, folks, okay? Because you can go get these really awesome zombie packs and hero packs, and they come in here, and, and they're very, very, very nice. You can either play with the miniatures, or you can play with the the tokens or you can put i mean you don't have to get the miniatures you could just get the tokens and have more than enough to play with and i'll show you why this all fits first of all anytime you have a magnetic box to hold miniatures count me in all right they've got advanced zombies they've got heroes they've got everything that you could imagine now like i said i, I want to show you a couple things with this really really glorious rule book okay and and we're going to go a little bit further everything is run off a d12 which is really really cool because i love throwing d12s and i just want to kind of show you some things here um this you know you're going to get this book we'll explain that you're going to get all the standees in the box different weapons dice uh cubes uh chits and stuff like that but we'll explain all that a little further your different type of characters that you're going to run into okay explaining what this does okay again ready ready weapon offhand weapon supplies your gear again i talked about experience and stuff like that all right so i know what i'm talking about the concepts are very, very easy. You're going to have movement points for your movement, and I'll show you everything on on the on how it works. It, it's going to give you a nice breakdown of everything. What I really like is how you attack, okay, and how things work, okay. You are going to have a stun and wound value, okay. If you hit that stun value and go over it, you are going to stun your target, your zombie, okay. But if you roll over and you hit your wound, you are going to apply a wound. Now, there are modifiers. If you decide that your range is four, if you go past that range, okay, 
you are going to add one to these modifiers. So if you try to stun, you're going to need a 7 or more or a 10 or more if you go past your range of 4. Okay, uh, once you hit, you're going to have uh, stun and range values that you're going to roll again to see if you wound again because first of all you're gonna have to hit and then you have to hit again to apply either a wound or a stun uh your rate of fire how many times you can fire that particular weapon uh any kind of act um asterisk indicates one-handed weapon two weapon two weapons may be readied okay so you can have two we uh, weapons and you could just dual shoot which is just glorious machine guns lugers you know all this really cool stuff you're going to have things you, you're going to be able to throw grenades which is glorious and, and you're going to see why spreading fire stunning a zombie uh what, what what they do when they attack back um they're going to have certain uh modifiers and things like that that are going to subtract um Again, it's, it's going to break all, all your movement, all your line of sight, uh, what happens with cover, you've got snipers, okay, all this great stuff, I don't want to ruin it all, but there's a campaign with this, a glorious campaign, and you are going to be able to take your, your characters and take them on a wild ride, okay, because you're going to be leveling up, you're going to be having carrying certain food, you're going to build your team, what happens in between scenarios. This, there's a lot of game in here and there's a lot of stuff that you can just upgrade yourself and do more and more you could play co-op you could play uh one player plays the zombies versus play you have a zombie master or you you know you can be uh, uh taking care of your team or you can play co-op which is great great or you could play solo which is fantastic uh, a bunch of different uh scenarios for the campaign okay yeah why did i rush through that a little bit because i this is where this really gets me when you play this okay this book is everything that you need this is all you need because when you open up this bad boy you're going to read a little bit and then it's going to tell you okay proceed to scenario one and here's your play area folks okay so you can use either chits or 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 however you want to do it you know you want to use the standees or or you know you know whatever it takes they've got standees They've got different types of zombies that you're going to be able to use and you're going to have these zombies and you are going to move here or you can purchase the the um, the miniatures and use the miniatures as I said here you know like I said I don't know, we're going to have a whole bunch of zombies running around here awesome fantastic everything's done here while you are playing you are looking at this page it's going to give you everything that you need you've got a little zombie pool here which is great and everything's just played out of this book all right you finish this ah let's move on a friend will bleed and you're going to play that and then you play the next one your round tracker how it's going to go different things are going to happen when uh you know when zombies are going to spawn there's a pit the fountain the gr there are a ton and i do mean a ton of of scenarios that you could just play forever and this is just absolutely brilliant with a ton of replayability it comes in this nice little pack here that also settles down as a, a reference guide okay so everything just fits in here it all fits into the box shows your arc your rear arc your left your right when you're targeting a square for grenades reference again like i told you about this you know when you're going to be chucking those dice a breakdown of the round you're going to have initiative zombies have a minus factor because they're not that smart so they're not going to get initiative that much but they could but they could okay you're going to start your turn then your action phase and then your final phase and end and then rinse and repeat all your modifiers everything's in front of you nice and neat this is glorious i mean glorious let's go up top and get my final thought on escape from stalingrad from the great marco piccata and ray fox games this is fantastic. And they got a Kickstarter for a sequel to this going on right now. That's already funded. You want to get behind this. You want to go get this. Why? I think this is great. Let's go up and get even more final thoughts from me. I mean, this, this box here has a ton of game in it. And it's nice because you keep everything in front of you. It doesn't take up a big table presence. 
but it has that miniature feel of course it has miniatures but or you could play with the tokens which are just as as good and and, and just have a blast with this this is fun the rules are just you know smart intuitive fun exciting you know all the things that you want from a game like this in a little area and just a ton of fun and the characters the um, campaign system how many scenarios out there are there is just so much game in here go over to Raybox games check out escape from Stalingrad Z check click the uh, Kickstarter below they have a Kickstarter running for uh, I, I believe a sequel to this you want to check this out because this looks great too this is glorious and I'm telling you right now and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you you get this you will not regret it go out purchase it fun the Kickstarter is already funded back it make sure that you get yours and all the little toys that come with it because I'm telling you right now this is glorious and a must-have from your old pal Rob until next time it's Rob we'll see you guys soon go back this this is glorious or just go get escape from Stalingrad this is great too what a great time to be a gamer We'll see you soon, everybody.